Welcome to the CRC Evans training video featuring the pipe facing machine. The CRC Evans pipe facing machine is used to machine precision bevels for manual or automatic welding. Before we get started with the pipe facing machine, it's important to note that personal protection equipment, or PPE, is required for PFM operation. The operator should be wearing safety glasses, ear protection, work gloves, a long sleeve shirt, and steel toe boots. Because of the high decibel level of the pipe facing machine, Ear protection should be used at all times. Ear plugs are provided by CRC Evans and are available in several locations throughout the shop. When working around a pipe facing machine, be aware of the shavings produced by the cutting tools. This shaving is an inch wide and over four feet long. It's razor sharp and almost red hot. If this ribbon of metal were to make contact with your skin, it could cut and burn you. Never grab shavings while the PFM is in operation. If you do, you could be pulled into the rotating faceplate. So pay attention to your surroundings and always use the safety guard. Never use your hands to clear metal shavings from the tools and their holders. Shavings are hot and sharp. Use pliers or other tools to pull the shavings away. Also, clean up shavings immediately and place them into the proper receptacle. The pipe facing machine has two major parts. The clamping section and the machining section. The clamp section has two sets of hydraulically powered clamping shoes that work simultaneously to clamp the pipe in place. The machining section of the pipe facing machine consists of a rotating faceplate with two to six tool holders. Tungsten carbide cutting tools seat in the tool holders. Also, on the machining section, you'll find the lever panel. The lever panel is how the operator interfaces with the machine. A trained operator can face a pipe end in less than six minutes. Let's take a look at the lever panel. There are four levers. In, out. This moves the face plate forward and back. Rotate. This rotates the faceplate. Always leave the safety guard down on the lever until you are ready to bevel. Shoes up down. This raises and lowers the shoes, securing the PFM into the pipe and then releasing it. And the feed speed lever. This determines the speed of the faceplate as it moves outward. Always be in the slow position when rotating the faceplate. Here in the center of the panel is the fine feed valve. This moves the faceplate forward in minute increments until contact is established. Once contact is made, set the fine feed valve and let the machine do its work. When the clamp section of the pipe facing machine is inserted into the pipe end, the operator will activate the shoe's up-down lever to secure the PFM to the pipe end. Once the pipe facing machine is secure, 
The operator will use the in-out lever to bring the cutting tools close to the pipe end. This is done with the feed speed lever in the fast position. It is important to switch the feed speed lever to the slow position before rotating the faceplate. With the cutting tools close to the pipe end, the feed speed lever set to slow, the in-out lever set to out, the operator will ease the rotate lever into the rotate position and rotate the faceplate. Adjust the fine feed valve until the pipe shavings drop under the machine as ribbons. Let the pipe facing machine do its work. When the bevel is smooth and the pipe end is square, switch the in-out lever first to null to let the faceplate spin momentarily and clean the beveled edge, then to the out position to bring the faceplate away from the bevel. Switch the rotate lever to off and put the safety guard in place. If the bevel is good all around, lower the shoes and remove the pipe carefully to avoid denting or nicking the bevel. Run a file around the edge of the bevel to remove any filings or burrs. Anytime you stop the pipe facing machine, the operator should clean and inspect the tools for wear and breakage. If a tool chips due to fatigue or improper installation, the operator will see an improper cut in the bevel and the shavings may change characteristics. If a cutting tool is found broken or chipped, remove and replace it. You will need a 1 8 inch Allen key to loosen the tool and remove it. Make sure the tool sets correctly in the holder. It should lay flat against the seat. Once in the correct position, tighten down the lock pin. Then inspect all the tools in this manner. If the tool holder is loose, use a CRC Evans PFM wrench to tighten the top and side bolts on the radial arm. Let's take a look at setting up the bevel design. Here we have a typical automatic bevel. When setting up a bevel, the first thing to do is set the eccentric arms to neutral. The eccentric arms maintain the tool's height while beveling. And install the piggyback tool. Then, bevel the groove into the pipe. Measure the various positions of the bevel with calipers. Next, install the 45 degree tool. When finished, bevel the pipe again.
When installed in the correct position, there will be an invisible transition between the piggyback and the 45 degree tool. If there is a ridge in the bevel, readjust the 45 degree until there is a seamless transition between the two tools. The 37.5 degree cuts the inside land, install it, and bevel the pipe end again. Measure the various positions of the bevel with calipers. When all the cuts are within tolerance, tighten all the bolts using the CRC Evans PFM wrench. Once the bolts are tightened, the pipe facing machine will replicate again and again the same bevel with a minimum amount of maintenance. Total time for setup of the bevel shouldn't exceed 45 minutes and can be achieved in under 20 minutes by an experienced operator. The CRC Evans Hydraulic Power Unit, or HPU, provides the pipe facing machine with hydraulic pressure. To provide that pressure, connect the three hoses from the hydraulic pressure unit to the pipe facing machine. The three hoses are the return hose, the high pressure hose, and the feed pressure hose. Starting the hydraulic pressure unit is simple. Hold down the glow plug and press the engine start button. Hold the glow plug for 10 seconds until the diesel engine is running smoothly. Then rotate the throttle until you reach 2000 RPMs. Once 2000 PSI is reached, you're ready to begin beveling. Let's review. To start the hydraulic power unit, hold down the glow plug and press the engine start button. Hold the glow plug momentarily as the engine starts. Rotate the throttle until you reach 2000 RPMs. Secure the pipe facing machine to the pipe by raising the shoes. Set the feed speed lever to fast. Set the in out lever to the out position to bring the cutting tools close to the pipe end. When close, set the feed speed lever to the slow position and the in-out lever to out. Raise the guard on the rotate handle and ease the lever into the rotate position. Use the fine feed valve to ease the faceplate into contact with the pipe edge. Once contact is made, set the valve and let the machine do its work. When the bevel is finished, set the in-out lever to null to clean the bevel edge, then to in to bring the faceplate away from the pipe edge. Stop rotation and place the rotate safety guard in place. Release the shoes and remove the pipe. Run a file around the pipe edge to clean off any filings or burrs. To set up the bevel, start by setting the eccentric arms to mid-travel. Install a zero degree tool and bevel the pipe end square. Install the piggyback tool and bevel the groove into the pipe. Install the 45 degree tool. The transition between the tools should be seamless. Adjust the 45 degree tool as necessary. Readjust the 45 degree until there's a seamless transition between the two tools. Then, install the 37.5 degree tool. Bevel an edge under the pipe and measure with calipers. Once the bevel is set up, the operator will be able to replicate the same bevel over and over. We just saw how easy it is to set up and operate the CRC Evans pipe facing machine. Correctly configured and maintained, the pipe facing machine will deliver quality bevels until completion of the job. Thanks again for your interest in the CRC Evans pipe facing machine.
We'll see you on the spread. And remember, work safe.